decide uh, that which side one has to take. In case of Turkey, in many ways, we are in between, so we cannot easily decide. Uh, we, we decide according to the subject, according to the area, but we, we cannot make an overall uh, decision uh, so easily. So we would like to keep this polarization as small as possible. That's why Turkey, uh, as you mentioned, uh, we have been uh, parts of important initiatives. Uh, and uh, specifically because of this reason, Turkey also initiated together with Spain the Alliance of Civilizations. This Alliance of Civilizations is a, is a uh, now UN-backed initiative. The Friends of the Alliance uh, came to 122 countries, so it is now globally uh, embraced. And many other countries are uh, following us in the same direction. This was uh, the birth, uh, the reason of, uh, of this initiative was a, a rejection of the idea of clash of civilizations. Even the term alliance of civilizations came as a re reaction, as a rejection of the idea of clash of civilizations. And uh, in Turkey, we believe that uh, the uh, civilizations should be uh, get together. So we are against polarization and we are fighting against polarization wherever we can find. That's why we are inserting more moderation. Um, Salam. Uh, you mentioned about uh, entering the European Union and one of the reasons that you are not, that there, there are delays is because Turkey is a Muslim country. Uh, you think you have been a victim of uh, Islamophobia? Uh, would have been, would have been this different if you were uh, from a different faith. If Turkey was a different religion. Thanks. Thank you. I'm not sure if uh, if uh, it is totally depending on that. It, I added this as a, as one of the factors because uh, there is an Islamophobia uh, or uh, generally uh, uh, the uh, uh, the fear of of unknown. Uh, if they knew better, of course, they wouldn't uh, be uh, so afraid. But uh, we have been working against these ideas also. Uh, and uh, we think that in case of uh, Turkish uh, candidacy, uh, there might be a factor, although officially it is not there, as I said. But from the discussions that we, uh, we observe among the European leaders, sometimes uh, among all these serious discussions, you can see a, a, a word or a statement popping out showing uh, the background of, of this kind of an understanding. That's why one can argue that it may be the case. But as we cannot measure and separate these effects uh, in, the, uh, in diplomacy or in political science, in, society, in social sciences, we cannot measure this uh, altogether. But it may have a uh, portion uh, in, in this uh, issue. Can we take one more question? Because this lady had her hand up right for a long time and you did not <laughs> see her. Um, you spoke earlier about Turkey being a bridge between the East and Western worlds. Um, have the conflicts between the two affected your national identity? Uh, that affected us uh, in two ways. One is uh, we, uh, we feel ourselves richer because we have uh, the ability to uh, cooperate, to communicate with both uh, of the world. And uh, in my person, uh, it is also evident. Uh, in the United Nations, if I approach uh, a group of Middle Eastern uh, ambassadors, I would feel myself at home and I would be joking with them, easily communicating with them. And the same is true with a group of uh, Northern European uh, ambassadors. So this is our ability. This gives us some richness. And this gives us also uh, some uh, responsibilities. Uh, some of the things, like the Alliance of Civilizations or the Israeli-Syrian uh, uh, mediation, some of these things are only, uh, uh, can only be done by, uh, by Turkey or by a country like Turkey in uh, similar approaches. So we feel this as, uh, as a responsibility. 
but we enjoy uh, the richness. But I should also add that there is always this effect that uh, it, it hurts to be not directly belonging uh, none of them. So at times, I should say, I should confess that I would uh, like to be a diplomat of, a, of Norway or Switzerland that would be very clearly defined everything, the positions. So in, in many cases, as a Turkish diplomat, I have to study each and every case to decide what I will uh, uh, do, what, what, which position I will take. So I have more tools compared to others, which is good, but I have more responsibilities and I find myself, myself in more difficult situations than anybody else. So this is, uh, this is how I feel and this is probably uh, shared by many Turks. Well, thank you, Mr. Ambassador. I think we all have a <laughs>